Welcome to Liguido's Chop Shop, the second best gel blast channel on the tube tubes. And today on the bench I've got the SQ12 mini camera. And what's this got to do with gel blasters? I hear you ask. Well, this little camera, one of the things that I've been looking for for a while is something that I can mount on my blaster to get shots of, uh, you know, like the game, game footage, maybe not so much like the entire game footage, but um, just some shots like down the barrel. Uh, I do use a head cam on my goggles, so where I'm looking, I usually get that recorded, but, um, but like, it'd be nice to get, like, maybe some zoom cam scope shots or something like that and see what, um, you know, make it a bit interesting when you're editing the, the video, so it's a bit better for people who are watching. Also, a lot of the time when I use my, um, goggle cam, my scope or blaster obscures the view, and so my target is actually out of it's obscured in the footage anyway, so people don't have any idea what I'm doing when I'm when I'm firing. So I bought this, and I'm gonna I'm, there's a, there's a link in the description down here somewhere um, here somewhere down there where you can actually buy this thing because it's ridiculously cheap, and um, it is I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go through, it comes with some bits, just like, um, little attachments, I guess, so you can clip it on to, I don't know, stuff and things, and there's one here which has got like some various different mounting options, uh, this one looks like, uh, it's got this waterproof case, so that can go in there, looks like it's GoPro compatible, I don't really care about any of that or this, or that, I mean it comes with all this stuff, it's all very nice, but what I want to do is mount it to my blaster. So what I have done is I've gotten this, uh, I think this came off the MP7, it's a plastic fake scope thing, um, and I've just basically dremeled it out in the top section there, so that I can mount my SQ12 uh, inside like that. So I've still got access to the top buttons there and then the little camera pokes out the front there. I screw it down onto the rail and it's obviously rail, got the Picatinny rail mount there so that you can mount it somewhere on your blaster and um, you can still access your buttons here to turn it on and select your modes and that sort of thing. Anyway, it's it's a pretty cool camera, guys. Like, it's not it's no GoPro. Um, it is. It does record up to. Um, I'm recording now. Um, it does record up to 1080p. So it is a 1080p resolution camera, although um, it's not as good quality as a GoPro. But given how tiny this thing is, it's like it's so small. The footage from it is actually quite good. And if you're planning on doing what I'm doing with it, which is just having it as a secondary camera to cut like a picture-in-picture -picture or a um, just a just a kill cam shot down the barrel or something like that. It's going to be a little thing that's not going to get in your way. It's not going to obscure your vision. Uh, and let's face it, you could basically gaffer tape this to the side of anything. You don't have to make a little scope fake optic mount thing like I did. Um, but yeah, you could just basically gaffer tape it to the side of your um, blaster and it's ready to go. It's got an internal battery in it, which goes for about an hour's worth of recording time. 
but uh, I think I can open this up here. There we go. There's a the little battery there. It's a single cell LiPo. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm actually thinking what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that little battery off and power it off of one of the slightly larger um, batteries that I have kicking around from gel blasters and whatnot. I mean, you could use an 18650 or something. Because I'm mounting it into this little uh, faux optic, there's plenty of room behind it for me to mount a slightly larger battery in there. So, um, yeah, so the recording time, I guess, can be uh, extended if you add a bigger battery to it. It's not, uh, it's not too difficult to do. Just pull that little battery out and um, pop said new one onto the board. Um, if you've got any sort of soldering skills, you should be able to handle that. It's pretty easy. All right, I'm going to show you some footage of this anyway. There's some of the footage that I took on the weekend because I was out there in the in the uh, bush skirmishing like we do on weekends. And um, yeah, some of the footage was actually quite good. Um, I... I <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't recommend using this as like like full-time game footage because it does get a little bit dizzying sort of when you're running around and the blaster's moving and the, the, the camera's attached to the blaster. But if you've got it in conjunction with like your main head cam or something like that, you can, you know, you know how to edit. You can do that. And uh, I, I think this is quite fun, quite, quite a good angle. Um, I did get some good uh, good kill shots from it, and um, you can see the quality's the quality's pretty good for uh, for the size of the camera, and um, it, it, I think it'll make make a good addition to uh, your camera setup uh, if you are kind of tight ass like me and um, don't want to spend too much money. It is a very cheap little addition to your uh, skirmish bundle, and it won't bulk up your blaster too much. Uh, definitely worth having. I'm pu putting the link down to where you can get it. They are dirt cheap, so grab one. Grab two. Have one facing forward, one facing backwards. Hey. Um, yeah, knock yourself out. It's a good... Uh, I, I rate it. I rate it. It's a good little camera. I also like the fact that my fake optic uh, sort of gave it a... A um, circular scope type um, frame. Uh, it's probably worth noting that uh, the that frame doesn't. That's not standard. The frame, on the footage that I have, that frame is um, given to it by the actual little optic that it's mounted in. Um, it does show up like a normal um, letterbox or whatever sixteen by nine. Um, screen on your computer when you uh, download the footage. Uh, one of the other things that I am looking forward to doing is mounting the camera behind a scope. So it's got magnification as well and also like maybe mounting it behind a red dot or something with a, a something with a crosshairs or a reticle or something that I can uh, I don't know. I think that'll be fun. I haven't I haven't really tested that in the wild yet, but I will definitely be doing that. And uh, I'm sure you'll probably see some more footage from this from my gameplay videos in the future. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, as always, buy me a coffee in the link. Uh, buy yourself one of these cameras. And patches... As well, hit me up if you want one of my patches. Um, I can ship them out Australia-wide. Thanks for watching. Peace.